title of my talk today is, is Forest for Wood Production, Carbon Sequestration and Erosion Control, Can We Win the Trifecta? I should explain that a trifecta is a gambling term where you bet on the first, second and third horses to win in a race. Now, the main objective of plantations in New Zealand uh, is wood production. However, uh, current government policy recognises that new forests can contribute to carbon sequestration and control of erosion on unstable hill country, of which we have quite a lot in, in New Zealand. Um, I want to focus on a biological and a physical issue, which is why um, our new forests might not be able to meet all three objectives simultaneously. Uh, for the purposes of this talk, a new forest is, is, a, is a newly established forest that will meet the requirements of the emissions uh, trading scheme. Uh, it could be a plantation, it could be a forest that's regenerated from some kind of seed bank or seed rain. Uh, the species may be exotic, indigenous or a mixture. And we have a number of contenders in this, uh, in this race, uh, fast growth plantations, e.g. radiata pine, slow growth plantations and uh, the most common example would be Douglas fir. We have the option to regenerate native forest. Now, I'll, I'll say that we can score the double, definitely. We can definitely get wood production plus carbon sequestration. And um, I think at this webinar last year, for example, uh, Tom Adams uh, showed that the, the effect of, of carbon trading would increase new planting rates and slow deforestation. Uh, people like Piers McLaren and Bruce Manley here at the School of Forestry have also demonstrated the, the uh, increase in forest profitability that would come if you were able to get income streams from both wood and carbon. So we can win the double, carbon plus logs, but can we win the trifecta? We know that our planted forests uh, reduce um, erosion. We know we are in a land that has high <coughs> rates of both geological erosion and accelerated erosion, the accelerated erosion largely caused by deforestation of indigenous forest and conversion to pasture. Well, we can convert that land back into trees and control the erosion on the land. And a particularly um, important category of land that is, that is right for this kind of conversion back to forest is the soft rock hill country of the eastern and southern North Island. And this is because you, the, the very factors that make this country highly erodible um, also make it pretty good forestry country. Um, the soft and fractured sedimentary rocks that, that are so easily eroded um, can allow, uh, develop into very fertile soils. The fact that we get these periodic, very intense rainstorms, such as the Hawke's Bay storm, the, the aftermath of which, you're, of which you're looking at right now, um, but these occur typically in, in, in reasonably high rainfall climates, and the high rainfall is beneficial for tree growth. So this soft rock hill country supports very high stand productivities. Uh, the only downside is that um, steep topography is the rule in this country, and there is nothing good about that from a forestry point of view. Um, to illustrate that point, I've, I've borrowed a slide from a paper by Keith Raymond, illustrating that on the left you had that central North Island uh, scenario where a log that's worth maybe $80 per cubic metre at the mill, um, after you've deducted logging costs, still uh, returns around $20, $20 to $30 per cubic metre to the grower. If you take a log grown on steep and highly erodible terrain on the east coast of the North Island, the log itself is not worth that much less, but the very high harvesting roading costs involved with this steep and highly erodible terrain uh, eats into the revenue to the point where the stumpage is that very thin sliver of blue at the very bottom of the graph for the east coast. And on top of this uh, economic downside, there is also the fact that this country um, uh, confers a liability on the forest owner. If, if slopes fail during uh, storms, very intense storms of low probability, companies may find themselves uh, liable for prosecution under our Resource Management Act. Uh, another uh, downside of the soft rock hill country, uh, productive and fertile as it is, is that we can encounter areas of highly uh, unstable trees. On, on, on lithologies that are massive, that is they have no joints or cracks for the roots to penetrate, 
the, the root system becomes extremely shallow and on steep slopes uh, this shallow root system cannot support the trees and they begin to topple or sledge downhill. That's in the top picture. Uh, there is another erosion form, earth flow uh, erosion, where essentially under wet conditions soils turn to porridge and begin to flow downhill. And as the, the second photograph shows, trees on these sorts of sites have a hard time staying upright. So what's the solution to this to this issue of, of, of how do we reforest this, this soft rock hill country? I think, um, here's my personal opinion, we have to develop a mixed forestry model on the so-called better sites, which are more stable and are easier from a an harvesting and engineering point of view. <coughs> we can opt for a fast growth plantation species like radiata pine and um, have log and carbon revenues. But we have to be able to identify the sites that are steep, erosion prone or inaccessible and perhaps adopt other strategies such as just regenerating indigenous forest or planting a permanent exotic forest that will not be harvested. In those cases we really want to be looking for species that are stable and biologically resilient because we wish for them to uh, live for a long time. So here's a shot from Wanganui um, showing how a uh, a forest manager has designed his forest such that the steep uh, and eroding faces in the middle ground have been left to revert into uh, native species like manuka and he, the forester has concentrated their efforts on the easier terrain in the foreground and in the background where after an engineering study uh, they came to the conclusion that it was feasible to harvest that land. So that's me. I hope I'm in time. Uh, thank you for your attention.